Hello, so welcome back to the fifth instalment of this Dreamweaver series. In this episode, we're going to start to look at the featured section. So we're going to add in the featured background, uh, and then we're going to start to slice out some of the images for the featured section slider, and then we'll start to code up some of the HTML and CSS. So let's go on with it. So with Photoshop open, what we need to do is actually slice out the images for the slider. So we need to get the back button, the forward button, the actual main image, and the actual uh, button they click on to go to the article. So I'm just going to zoom in, and if we go to the Move tool by pressing V on the keyboard and just click on the actual icon here, and then that should jump to that particular layer, which it does. You can see down here, uh, Prev button for previous button. So right click, duplicate layer, go to New. And then we just all we have to do image trim and OK. And there's our button. So if I zoom in, you can just see that there it is. So I'm going to click File, Save for Web and Devices, PNG 24. Click on Save. And then you want to go into the Images folder. And I'm just going to call this Prev BTN for button, previous button. Click Save. Get rid of this. And we need to repeat that process. So so click on the icon, it goes to the next button, so I'm going to right click on that layer, duplicate, you know the drill by now, new, image, trim, OK, save for the weapon devices, click save, and we're going to call this next BTN, and now we can get rid of this one as well. So we need to grab this Mac image or whatever image you've put in. So I'm going to click on that, right click, new, OK. And again, I'm going to do image trim, click OK. It's now trimmed it all out. Now you might be looking at that thinking, well, it hasn't trimmed out all of the transparent pixels, but it has. It's basically, this has got a shadow on here. So the shadow basically comes down to here and around. So that's where it's going up to. Uh, so I just thought I'd explain that. So, so file, save a web, save, I'm just going to call this uh, Mac Pro Featured, so I know that's for the Featured section. Get rid of that. And then I'm just going to zoom into this button. And I'm just going to click on uh, the view article text. And this should be inside of a button group. Uh, but it's not, so what we'll do is just start from here and then just select the different portions. So this is the arrow, this is the obviously the text, this is the uh, the dark but this is the blue button, sorry, and this is the dark button. So I'm gonna right click, duplicate layers into a new document, and as you can see, there's the button. So same technique, trim like that and then file save for web click save I'm going to call this uh, article BTN like that so we can close this we don't need that anymore and I think we're in fact we've got one more thing we need to grab out we need to grab out this background gradient so I'm going to grab my marquee tool by pressing M on the keyboard I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom into the bottom portion of it because we've got these two lines that we created. So we want to grab the the grey one and the white one, and then come all, all the way up until you come to about here. So it's just below the nav. So that should, if we go to the info, so that's 301 pixels. So I'm going to do edit. Copy merged, file new, and then I'm going to click on OK, and I'm just going to do Control V to paste that in, and we've now got our slice. So I'm just going to do file, save for web and devices, save, and I'm going to call this featured BG, and come out of this, and then I'm going to zoom out slightly. And that's just pretty much got everything we need. So we now need to head on over to Dreamweaver. So if we go into the index.html, what we're going to do, we're going to copy 
uh, the nav container and the center container because again we don't need to recreate all this code every time I'm going to paste it below so this is going to be the featured section so it's going to be featured container and then we need to change this here so featured container we can remove this so we now need to style this featured container here so what we'll do if we open up the main CSS and if we come down the page and what I'm going to do I'm going to copy the comment here paste it below I'm going to change this to featured styles so we don't get confused with what what's what I'm also going to copy the nav container here paste it below change this to featured container so this needs to be 100% which is fine the width now the height we're going to set this to 301 for one pixel it doesn't really make a massive difference and we're going to remove the background color so now if we look at that in the design view you'll now see we have this big blue box or we have the div sorry and it's now highlighted in blue on the outside as it says here featured container which is basically the the actual featured section so we need to add in the background uh, image to that so if we go to the CSS and we're going to say background image and we're just going to browse for that image so if we go into our images folder we've got the featured BG click on OK close that off and we've now got the actual uh, featured background in so if we just preview this in the web page so as you can see now we've got the featured um, slider background all in place and that's looking pretty much exactly the same as the Photoshop design um, so what we need to do now is actually be adding in the the back button and the main section and obviously the next button so if we just minimize the web browser and if we go into the code and create some space so the way we're going to do this we need to create three divs so in here we're going to create a div with an id so i'm going to call this prev btn so for previous button and close that off so I'm going to create my comment as usual like that so that's the first one in I'm going to copy this again because we need one for the next button so just paste that below and change that to next and change that one now we need a div in the middle so I'm going to create another div give this an ID and this is going to be called slider and I'm going to close that off and I'm going to add the comment let's call that slider so now I've got the three divs in place so we need to add the image into these so I'm going to do IMG SRC for source I'm just going to browse let me just make this a little bit bigger so I'm going to browse for the previous button which is here and click OK and then just close that off and then I'm also, well what I'm going to do in fact to save a bit of time I'm just going to copy this code go to the next button and then just change that for next so if we look at that in the, the design you can see we've got a button here and a button here and so on so what we're going to do if we go back to the code create some space so we can now add some content inside so the way we're going to do this we're going to create an unordered list so we're going to create a ul Let me move this up and then close the ul then inside we're going to create a list item and it's going to close that off and then if I just create some space so what's actually going to be inside this list item if we just go to Photoshop inside of the list item is going to be this image it's going to be this heading tag it's going to be this paragraph and it's also going to be this button so if we go back so what we need to do we need to add that image in so img src 
and we need to browse for that image. So here it is. Well, here's my image anyway, the one that I I added. So Alt. I'm just going to call this Mac Pro. Don't forget about title. Say so Mac Pro. And I'm going to close that off. Now, like I said, we have to add a heading in there as well. So I'm going to create a H2. So that's just heading two. And just give it the title. So I'm just going to go by the Photoshop design. So Mac Pro Refresh. Now underneath of that, we're going to have uh, some text. So that's going to be in the paragraph tag. So I'm just going to go to Photoshop. And I'm just going to copy out this text here. So I got grab the text tool, copy it, and then head on over back to Dreamweaver. So I'm just going to paste that in here. Just indent it in so it's just easier to read. So to indent it in, if you select it and then press the Tab key, then it moves over. And then close off the paragraph tag. And then the final thing we have to add into this slider container will be another image. And that image will be the actual button uh, to go to the, to the article. So article button. So create an alt tag and say, I don't know, click here for article. So I'm just going to copy that. Create the title tag, paste that in there, and close it off. So if we just preview this in the, in the design, as you can see there, it's all in, but it doesn't look anything like the actual Photoshop design. So what we need to do now is use the CSS to manipulate it and start floating certain elements about. So if we just go back into the code, what we need to do, we need to float this div to the left. We need to float the slider to the left and we also need to float the next button to the left. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the prev button. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to paste in the prev button with the ID symbol there. And then I'm also going to put the uh, another one in there. So I'm just going to paste that in and change that for next. So what we're saying here is we want to float these two elements to the left, like that. And then we also want to add an ID of slider. So we want to be creating certain things for this as well. So we, again, we're going to say float left, but we also want to give it a width. So the width we'll say just for now is about 880 pixels and save that. So if we go to the index, you can now see that we've still got the back button over here, but now the next button is over here. So it's starting to resemble uh, the slider. And then we also told the actual slider div, so the main div in the middle, to be 800 pixels, which comes to here. So it starts here and then ends here. So we're not doing too bad. I think the next thing we need to tackle is actually to get the button here and this button into the middle of the uh, featured slider background. So they'll basically end up about here. So the way we're going to do this is if we go to the source, we're just going to say an ID of the next button that contains an image, do something, and an ID of prev button that contains an image, do something as well. So if we go back over here, I'm just going to copy this code, paste it below. So an ID of prev button that contains an image and the next button that contains an image also. So we're going to say padding on the top, 150 pixels. So now if we just look at that in design, now see that both buttons have jumped down into the uh, middle of the background so if we just preview that in the web page and if we now hit refresh so you can see it's starting to take shape I think what we need to do actually is uh, bring them up a little because they're a bit too far down so if we just go back into Dreamweaver and go to the CSS and if we say 120 and then just preview that and hit refresh 
that's looking a bit better now so that's now that in place so now we just really need to sort out uh, getting this section up into place over here so if we just minimize this so what we need to do if we go to the index we now need to start styling this unordered list so we need to give some margins and paddings and and whatnot so what we're going to do first of all the actual unordered list we're going to give it some padding on the inside so I'm just going to create a bit of space so you can see this so it's going to be an ID of slider that has a uh, unordered list we're going to say padding and we're just going to say 20 pixels so what that will do that will just give it 20 pixels on the top the bottom the left and the right now I'm going to copy this paste it below and then I'm just going to add on li for the actual list items themselves so we want the list items to be a certain height now the height of the slider is 300 we've added on 20 pixels on each side so that's going to be 20 on the top 20 on the bottom left and the right so that's 40 on the top and the bottom so we need to minus that from the 300 if my math's correct that is 260 so 260 px in fact I need to type in height first so height 260 px so now if we look at the design not a vast amount has changed but what we now need to do is we need to tell this image to float to the left and all of this will now float up to the right hand side of it so the easiest way to do this on the actual image create a class of FL for float left and if you look at that as you can see all that has now floated up to the uh, the right hand side of this and you can see we've got the actual uh, padding along the top the right the bottom and the left so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave the video here for now in the next episode we will carry on with the featured section so we'll change the the, the heading the paragraph tag and the image and we'll also add in the jQuery integration to make it actually animate to the left and the right so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave any comments below feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video